And the main interest from the side of the EU is to stabilize Jordan. It is important for us to have a partner in, in the Middle East, which is, uh, I mean, in the famous words of, of Jimmy Carter back in, uh, when he was a president and talked about Iran, he talked about uh, an island of stability. You could use this metaphor uh, when talking about Jordan because it's important for us, uh, us in the West, in the EU and also in the US, to have a stable partner. And I mean, if, if you look at the Middle East right now, you have many problems uh, there. First of all, related to uh, the Syrian crisis. And in this context, Jordan is playing uh, an important role. And coming back uh, to the question of what the EU is doing then, is to try uh, to improve the um, economic situ situation in, uh, in Jordan by arranging different activities, uh, by funding um, initiatives uh, which include um, the Syrian refugees, but also aim at, um, at uh, solving problems with unemployed young Jordanians. I mean, overall, to, uh, to, uh, to, to work for a situation where Jordan is, is calm and stable, uh, where the security is okay and where you, uh, where you don't have problems, uh, so to speak. The situation between Jordan and Syria when it comes to refugees and population movements also, uh, you could say. I mean, you have uh, rather large movements back and forth, but the net result is still that I mean, the majority of the refugees arriving to Jordan after uh, the start of the Syrian crisis, they are still there. Uh, and they, I mean, it is the, um, <clears throat> it is the, um, it is the viewpoint from the Jordanian government as well, that they plan, so to speak, on a situation where this problem is not being solved. I mean, I, I made interviews in, in different ministries in, in Jordan, and, and it is their viewpoint that uh, we will have a situation which for years uh, will almost be the same. But of course you have slight uh, uh, minor movements. If you look at the, uh, the statistics from the UNHCR, they're going a little bit down. Uh, I think right now you have around 650,000 uh, Syrian refugees in, uh, in Jordan. And a year ago, maybe you had 660 or 670,000, but it's almost the same. And I think this would be the case for, for the next five, ten years. I mean, nobody knows. And this is unfortunately also the case in, in Lebanon and also in, in Turkey, for that matter. That. I mean, you cannot rule out that we will have protests and, 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 and demonstrations uh, in, in the near future. To be honest, I don't think we will. It is a fact that if you go back to 2011 and even 10, you had some uh, demonstrations in, in, in Jordan mm -hmm. dealing with the elections in 2010, which were, I mean, unfair as they usually are in, in, in Jordan. The Jordanians sometimes say that we were the first to have, <clears throat> I mean, an Arab uprising in, in uh, in, two, in, in early 2011, and you had many demonstrations in those days. I think since then, the Jordanians have said to themselves um, that let us uh, stay calm for a while. I mean, we know what we have seen um, over there in Syria and other places. We know what we have. We don't love the king uh, as such. Uh, we're not satisfied, but <clears throat> I think pragmatically, the Jordanians are saying, let us wait until you have some, some improvement in Syria and then we'll come back. Because we, we as, I meant, as I just mentioned, I mean, we're not satisfied. We're, we're, we will have protests and, protests and demonstrations in, in, in Jordan, but not, not right now, not in a year or two, but they will be there. There is a potential for for protests in Jordan, I, th I think. So it will come again.